Hello everyone and welcome. It's the middle of April and Harbor Freight has released some new money saving coupons for your shopping pleasure. Today we're going to be looking at these latest savings coupons from Harbor Freight and talk about which ones are good and which ones are not. We will also be talking tools and discuss which Harbor Freight tools are worth buying and which ones you should stay away from. As always, if you can't see these coupons clearly due to the video encoding, do not worry. All these coupons are available at my website under the Extras tab and High Resolution Image. That way you can check out these coupons anytime you want and use them online or shopping at the store, whatever is most convenient for you. So let's see what Harbor Freight has in store for us this time. But before we do that, if you enjoy getting the latest information on money saving coupons from Harbor Freight, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time I produce a new money saving coupon video for Harbor Freight. All right, so let's see what we have here this month. And like I said, these month these coupons are for April 2021 mid month. They're in effect from now until April 22nd. And then after the 22nd, we'll see what new items come up and I'll let you know about those as well. Now I'm going to be going through and talking about these coupons randomly. I'll just pick items at random and see which ones are worth talking about. If there's something in here that I don't talk about and uh, you're interested in, feel free to comment down below and leave me a question. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have about whatever item you want to talk about. Anyway, so off the bat, looking at this hardwood dolly right here, $7.99. Not bad, not a bad price if you're planning on moving or moving things into storage or whatever the case may be. These are convenient to have on hand. This right here, the Armstrong TV Walmart, uh, it's been a little bit cheaper before, but 39 bucks is not bad. Things have been going up. Prices have been going up at Harbor Freight. Everybody keeps talking about that. I have a lot of comments on my latest videos talking about that as well. You can comment down below. If you're frustrated and you have been experiencing a lot of price increases, feel free to comment down below. You know, the funny thing people don't realize is that Harbor Freight does watch these videos. Harbor Freight does read the comments that you guys post down below. So if you have a problem with something and you're frustrated about something, feel free to comment down below and let Harbor Freight know what you really think. And that way they will get the feedback. And it's an indirect way to do it, but they do know exactly what's going on. You'd be amazed how many things I've said in my videos and later on I find that Harbor Freight has done something to take care of that. So let's go through it. Right here we have one of the uh, red compressors, a central pneumatic compressor, 39 bucks. That's not too bad. If you're looking for an inexpensive three gallon compressor, there you go right there. Here you have its uh, little brother, let's say, or big brother, the hot dog compressor. Same thing, same price, different shape, convenient for you, depends on the kind of shape that you want. Also a 38 gallon compressor. And here you have a portable car canopy for 99 bucks. That's not too bad. Uh, that's about the reasonable normal price that they drop it down to, so that's pretty decent right there. Now this guy right here, the Chicago Electric uh, Reciprocating Saw, uh, this one uh, does have, yeah, I think it's still right here. This switch up here allows the head to rotate so you can turn it around in different directions. Normally they used to put this down to about $19.99, so now it's $20.99. It's gone up about a buck. That's not too bad. That's not anything that's going to kill you. Some prices on some items have stayed relatively the same. Some items have gone up more. So it depends how that goes. This right here, this light, I have this light. I've done a review on it. If you are considering purchasing this light, you can go check out my video. I'll put a link up in the corner and that way you know exactly how that light works. Uh, 24 bucks is not too bad. They've had it as low as $22.99. So if a couple of bucks doesn't matter to you, you can go ahead and get that. And I do have a review coming up of another light, a uh, three part light, where basically you can switch the heads on it to do three different functions from a different brand, not Harbor Freight, because I found this other company, Next LED. They actually have better lights than Harbor Freight. So if you're thinking about buying the brother of this one that has three uh, attachments to it, hold off on that. Wait till you see my next video on that light from a different company. This light that I already have, I'm making the video right now, has a lot more features to it and it's much more reasonably priced than Harbor Freight. So if you're getting a little bit uh, upset about the price increases from Harbor Freight and not getting as great a tools or as the you know best values as you used to get, don't worry. I am shopping on Amazon and other places trying to find you good tools at good prices so you can still shop smart and save yourself money. 
I mean, we're all DIYers here. We're all trying to get the most out of the buck that we have, the most out of the money that we have, and try to make it go as far as possible and get the best tools we can. So that's what I'm here to help you guys do. And if you still need some masks, here you have it, $199. Uh, this guy right here, $59.99. Uh, let's see, I did a review on this on the older version. It's the same unit. It's the same machine. It really hasn't changed any. The only thing that changed from the one that I had to this one is that they rebranded it into the Bauer. But the inside, the guts of the unit are still the same. And I believe when I got it, it was $49.99. Now it's gone up to $59.99. You know, things do go up, and every time they rebrand something, they increase the price. That's why they're doing it. That's why they're changing everything, because the old Chicago Electric items used to be cheaper, so they rebrand it into other names and make it more expensive. This guy right here, I have one of these, and I've never done a review on it, but I do have one of these, and I've had it for many years, and it's helped me to do, uh, you know, unclogging drains and stuff for quite a few times. 219 is not too bad. Um, the, the lowest I've seen this go is 199. So, you know, if you're looking at it, you have a drain clog and you don't want to rent a unit and you want to just have one for yourself, 20 bucks isn't going to kill you. So, you know, go ahead and check it out. See if it's something that you like. And uh, it may just work out for you. Like I said, I've had it for many, many years. Been perfectly fine. So I can't say anything really bad about it. And the good thing about it now also, which was not available when I bought it a few years ago, now they do have the snake as a replacement item so if the snake were to rust out or kink or bend or whatever you can always buy from harbor freight a replacement snake for this unit and just put it in and keep on going which is a whole lot cheaper than having to buy an entirely new unit so there you go here you have a badland winch 69 bucks not too bad let's see one of these car charges 50 bucks that's not too bad I mean, you know, it depends if you want to buy a Viking. Uh, if you go to Walmart, they do have Stanley units and other brands there that are about the same or maybe a little less. So, again, you know, I always say it depends how much of a Harbor Freight fanboy you really are or if you're just looking for the best prices possible. Uh, if you're looking for the best prices, I always recommend other places like Walmart and, you know, sometimes the auto parts stores. Depends on what we're talking about. Here you have a cutoff wheel, a 10-pack for $6.99. Uh, they've been going up, you know, you used to be able to get some of these down for like 49 cents. This is basically 69 cents. So, um, you know, some of these things have been going up. Duct tape for 349 that's not too bad. Here you have this uh, bench grinder, 39 bucks. Uh, it was cheaper when it was uh, Chicago Electric, I think it was. I don't think it was a Pittsburgh item, but uh, it was cheaper. I think it was down to like 26, 29, something like that. Then they rebranded into the Bauer, and it went up a few bucks. So, you know, that's just the way it goes. Here you have another winch, 2,000-pound winch for 54 bucks if you're looking for something like that. And here you have an ultrasonic cleaner, 69 bucks. And here you have one of the uh, plastic disposable sawhorses, I call them, because they are pretty disposable. They do break, and you do wind up throwing them away. Um, I don't know if it was this one or a different one, but they used to sell these as low as $8.99. Now this is, seems to be $12.99. Now one thing that gets me when I see this 500 pound sawhorse, you know people, I have to warn you. You know, I have to be honest, I, I gotta warn you. Somebody out there is gonna think that you can actually use this as a platform to stand on. I don't want anybody to take a chance on putting two of these together and put a plank of wood across it and use it to stand on. If that thing collapses on you, which it is made of plastic, so even though it says it can hold 500 pounds and you might be a 200, 250 pound man, don't get on there because if it collapses, you're gonna wind up hurting yourself. So don't do that. Get a proper metal platform if you're gonna be doing any work up high somewhere, all right? Just had to say that, because I know somebody's gonna try it. They're gonna go, ooh, 500 pounds, that's much more than what I weigh, so I can do it. Don't do it, don't do it, you're gonna be sorry. And here you have some locking jaw pliers, 6.99. Here you have the Hercules Orbital Sander, 54 bucks. Uh, again, it's a three amp motor. You know, one of these days I gotta do a review of a different brand, because 54 bucks is a little high, as far as I'm concerned, a 3 amp motor, I have uh, one of these that I've had for many, many years. It's a Black & Decker. I don't know what the amperage is on the motor, and it's lasted me forever. So I think I'm going to see if I can find a uh, less expensive one for you that is about the same as far as power, so you don't have to go spending 54 bucks. There's got to be better units out there. 
I just have to take the time to find it. Like this right here. Looking at this right here, the Bauer Corded 8 Amp Trigger Grip Angle Grinder. Uh, this right here, I would say don't buy it. I have a review video coming out in a couple days that I found a better unit on Amazon and I'm doing a review video on it, which is stronger than this one, stronger than the uh, uh, Hercules, stronger than the Ryobi, and it is cheaper than all three. And it has a longer warranty than Harbor Freight because it has a one-year warranty. So watch out for that video. Hit the subscribe button so you get notified when that video comes out and you'll see it is available on Amazon. It is a better unit and it is cheaper than this one because I think it's more expensive, but they have a huge discount on Amazon right now. So you can get it way, way cheaper than this. So keep an eye out for that video. I think you're going to enjoy it if you're looking for a trigger grip angle grinder. Here you have a thousand lumens LED light for 20 bucks. That's not too bad. And here you have a uh, swivel vise for 34 bucks. Now these are cast iron, so be careful not to drop it, but uh, you know, it'll shatter. But it's not too, too bad. You know, they're okay. And here we have the Fortress compressor where, you know, it's 249 for a five gallon, 225 PSI compressor. It's not a cheap unit, but they are fairly good compressors. They are some of the quietest compressors out there. So if you're looking for a quiet compressor and you're going doing handyman work, professional work, contractor work, and going from one place to another, and you don't want to disturb uh, the people where you're working and so forth, that is a good unit to keep an eye on right there. So you may want to look into that. And here you have some 20 foot, uh, two gauge, super heavy duty, 410 amp jumper cables, 29 bucks. Eh, that's not too bad. Uh, you may be able to find them cheaper somewhere else, but if you want to get them there, that's not too bad. This right here, the Pittsburgh half inch drive, uh, 25 inch breaker bar for 10 bucks. That is a pretty decent price right there. You can't beat it. Uh, there is no 20% or anything like that coupon right now, but as it says, 23% off. So that's better than if you had a 20% off and it does have a lifetime warranty. So any problems with that, you can take it back. And that's one of the things that Harbor Freight is best at is their hand tools. They have lifetime warranty on them all and any trouble, you take it back. They're very easy to uh, exchange or replace items. So that's not a problem at all. But for the time being, yeah, there is no 20% coupon available at this time. When another one will show up, I don't know, but I will let you know as soon as one does come out. That is one of the things that I either, you know, make a video and put it in the video with other stuff I'm talking about, or I will put it on my community tab, and I will definitely let you guys know when a 20, 25, 30% off coupon comes out, I will definitely let you guys know, even if it's for a short period, because... Before, a 20% off coupon would last up to a month or so. Now they're only lasting two or three days. So you really want to get notified as soon as one of those comes out because you want to go use it quickly. What I suggest, here's a little side note for you. What I suggest, what I've been doing is make yourself a wish list of the different items you want to get because the coupon will be coming out. So make a wish list and be prepared. And when the coupon comes out, a 20, 25, or 30, then you can run to the store and grab it. And that way you're not you know, trying to figure out at the last minute, what do you really want to buy? You already have your list ready to go and just go and get it and you're good to go. These right here, these uh, combination wrenches, uh, $13.99, that is a pretty decent price right there. If you don't have any of these and you're looking for some wrenches, uh, 22 pieces, SAE and metric, you're set right there. So that, that are pretty good right there. This right here, uh, about a month or so back, I had someone ask me about the vertical shaft uh, engines from Predator going on sale. And these don't go on sale very often at all. But right here, you have one, 22 horsepower, 708 CC V-twin, 799. It's a hundred bucks off, so that's not too bad. So whoever that person was, I don't remember user handles and all that all the time. I'm sorry about that, but I do remember when you ask me for something, I keep it in the back of my mind and I will bring it up. So you were looking for a um, vertical shaft engine. Here you have one on sale. Hopefully this one suits your needs because they don't go on sale very often at all. These guys right here, half inch uh, star bit socket set, $9.99. That's not bad, that's not bad right there. Lifetime warranty again, and 16% off. Well, you know, it's not too bad. Not as good as 20, but it's uh, better than nothing at all. And here you have a pistol grip gun, 10.99. 31% off. That's pretty good. If you need a grease gun for, you know, a lot of vehicles and stuff, I mean, it depends on the machinery you're dealing with. Some of them still do have Zerg fittings and, you know, grease fittings, so you can do it. 
but a lot of cars, most of their joints now are sealed, uh, you know, bushings, fittings, uh, whatever you want to call them. So you really can't be greasing them much. I, I have an old truck, my 97 Dodge Ram, it still has, you know, lubricate, uh, areas that can be lubricated everywhere. So that one, I can still do it. There's Zerg fittings all over the place. But on most modern cars, eh, not so much. And let's see, here you have an Icon half inch, 50 to 250 flex head torque wrench, 139. Expensive, but if you need a flex head torque wrench, uh, there you go. I really don't know how well, how accurate this works because it's a torque wrench, but if the head is flexed at an angle or, and stuff like that, you wonder if you're really getting an accurate reading on it. I'm not a professional. I don't need to go to such extreme calibrations as, you know, a professional would. Uh, normally, I just, uh, the regular calibration is good enough for me, and I don't really need to get into such weird, uh, you know, situations where you would need a flex head. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. If you're a pro and you deal with this kind of stuff, comment down below. Let me know if you really think that they're highly accurate or slightly off. You know, that's uh, an interesting point right there, how much the flex head throws off the calibration. And here you have a 6-inch digital caliper, SAE and metric and fractional readings, $9.99. I bought one of these a few years back, and I think I paid $9.99. So that's still a good price right there, 50% off. Uh, that's pretty good. I, don't, I think it was cheaper than $19 when I bought it, so it was a smaller savings. But now you're getting a bigger savings right there. So this is a pretty good unit. In fact, I have a video that I did a review on this, and I'll see if I pop a link up in the corner for you. If you want to go check out that video later, it's a good unit. I've used it for a few different things, and it's been spot on. I've checked it and rechecked it against itself and with other things, and it always gives the same reading. So it's not like I've gotten multiple readings and it's all over the place. No, it's very accurate. So um, it's not bad. I can't see anything really bad about it. And here you have a toolbox liner, solid liner, uh, $4.99 for one of these, uh, 18 inches by 72. If you want to save some money, you can get something very similar to this at uh, like the Dollar General, 99 cent store, stuff like that. They do have some similar material available if you want to get it even cheaper. So, you know, keep that in mind. Check those out before you buy this one. And here you have some trays for, you know, your sockets and stuff like that, 14 bucks. Keep your drawers organized, and it has a handle on it, so you can probably pull that out and carry it from place to place. That comes in handy. Uh, here you have a tap and die set, both SAE and metric, both at the same price. And, um, you know, I've been thinking about trying one of these again. I tried one. It wasn't this particular set. But a few years ago, I tried another one, I think a smaller set than this, and it was horrible. So I really can't say anything good about any of these sets. I haven't tried their better sets, but the small set that I got would not bite into the metal. I was trying to put a thread on the end of a rod so I could put a nut on it, and it would not bite into the metal. I mean, I got my hands were sore from trying to push down on it, trying different lubrication, trying different angles, all sorts of things. And finally, I just gave up and took it back because it was so bad. Uh, a very poor quality metal, it would not bite into that uh, steel rod. So, eh, you know, uh, buyer beware, buy it with caution. If you don't like it, take it back. I bought it, eventually I wound up taking it back. So that's all I can tell you about that right now. If you need an 8-inch portable ventilator, there you go, 64 bucks. Um, you know, you can decide if this is useful for you or just a regular fan will do. So that's something you have to decide based on your application. And you have a trailer adapter, $6.99, not bad there. Uh, these tin snips, they're not too bad. I have a set of these, and they will go dull over time. But they do have a lifetime warranty, so you can always take it back and exchange it if they go dull. So that's not a problem right there. And uh, here you have a tape measure, some trimmer line. And here we are at the end of the coupon, guys. And all these coupons are available at my website. Link is right there. ITC coupons also if you want to go check out my video for the ITC coupons or check out my page right here at my website where you can get the ITC coupons and if you see something in there that you want to buy uh, like an ITC member paying the ITC member prices check out that uh, page right here at my website follow the link and that way you can get the coupon codes for the ITC so you can save money I'm an ITC member and I share them with you so check that out. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified of all future videos I produce. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.